Today we are going to talk about color printing. The subject expert for today's program is Professor N. N. Sarkar, former associate professor in Indian Institute of Mass Communication, New Delhi. And I am Sakshi Mandwal. Objective. After viewing this film, you will be able to go through the complexities of color production, understand the printing press for color printing, discuss the commonly used color images that are to be printed, gain insight into color theory and primary colors, acquire knowledge about color scanning and color separation. Introduction most printing processes create a color image on paper by using ink. Color printing means multiple colors on the same sheet of paper. Printing with more than one color requires printing plates and impressions as many colors as to be printed. That involved costs, time and special skill to be used for color printing. Despite the fact now many affordable digital printers are available that can print just as easily and almost as inexpensively in color as only in black, color printing has been practical for publications that are printed in large scale. There are a variety of ways to reproduce your work from your office printer, a copy shop, a small print shop to a large commercial press. We can broadly divide all the printing facility available in the market in two categories desktop printing and major printing. Though all the categories of printing can give color output, no elaborate color separation is required for desktop printing. The task is handled by the computers in built program. Since our topic is color printing and color separation, our focus should be on major printing. Major printing means the process can produce large quantity print output with consistent image quality. Most cases cost effective. There is variety of major printing processes based on their features and types of jobs these can handle. Let us discuss one such process briefly to make you understand color printing. Printing press. For most printing jobs, publishers and advertisers first choice is offset. The factors that have determined this choice are elimination of costly make ready of other processes, easy plate making, ability to print fine screen half tone on less expensive paper and a series of computer and photographic techniques in coordination. Offset is one of the fastest growing major printing processes. In this process, the image area and non-printing area are on the same plane of the surface of a thin metal plate, the difference between them being maintained chemically. Printing is from a flat surface, one which is neither raised nor depressed. Three surfaces are used instead of two. Here the additional surface receives the image from the image carrier surface and then sets it off to the paper. That is why it is called offset. When photography is the key to modern make ready procedure, it is called photo offset. As printing is done from plane surface, it is called planography. Offset printing goes through three successive steps, pre-press, on press and post press. In pre-press, design is made suitable for printing, call it artwork or copy for printing. Artwork image is processed in the printing press and color separation is done here. It is then converted into film positive or negative. Film image then transferred onto a plate. In some cases, artwork is directly exposed onto the plate by passing the film. Mounting the plate on the plate cylinder and printing on paper using a select pigment color is the work of the on press step. Gathering of printed sheets, folding, stitching, binding and finishing is done at post press step. <music> color combinations. Images to be printed is formed by different combinations of colors. It is imperative to identify these images and their characteristics before going ahead to color printing.
continuous tone. Drawings that are made utilizing a medium in which the value of the pigment is diluted by water or adding white or light pigment are continuous tone drawings. Artists specialized in illustration can develop several styles and moods of illustration on the need of a particular publication and paint with brush and watercolor. Physical form of this style is called wash painting. Pencil drawings are also continuous tone image because the pencil is incapable of producing strength of color on paper, often used for shading a drawn picture. Image created by color pastel stick is pastel texture style. Despite having enough contrast, unlike pencil drawing, this style is also continuous tone because colors used normally are smudged, thus line reproduction is not possible. An original photograph is also a continuous tone image. We get an image of a three-dimensional object on a two-dimensional surface by means of photographic tones. The tones of different levels blend each other or continue, thus forming illusion of three dimension. Bitmap images. These images are made up of a whole lot of tiny dots called pixels. Here painting like illusion of continuous tone is created by pixels, thus called paint oriented graphics. Sharpness of image determines by the number pixels creating the image. In computer bitmap, image is stored by recording the exact placement and color of each pixel. The computer identifies the images in terms of collection of little squares. Number of pixels also of the image determines the size of the file. Line. The commonest one is pen and ink or brush and ink drawing on a white background. The images are drawn in black ink, giving thus the maximum contrast against white paper. By pen strokes, you can create different types of shape, thickness, position, style and texture. By brush, thick and thin freestyle, non-uniform texture. These are also called line image for its full value of color, without any gradation. Vector. Line image in computer is vector image. The image is created by mathematically defined curves and lines, segments of computer. Since the vector image creates objects like rectangle and circle, is also called object oriented graphics. Illustration drawn in vector program occupies fraction of a space in the computer memory and can be scaled to virtually any size without any loss of details. Thus, a particular thickness of line created on a screen can be reproduced accurately on a high-resolution laser printer. Some of the programs that create vector images are Illustrator, Freehand, MacDraw, CorelDRAW. Color Theory The way we view color is the physical characteristics of color. Normally, there are three ways we view color, reflection, radiation and projection. These mainly comes to our eyes from nature or paint and dyes, TV or computer screen and color film. The widest variety of colors is the visible spectrum. The spectrum consists of the colors that most people are capable of seeing. Some of these colors can be encountered in nature. Other visible colors are entirely man-made. Ink paint and dyes. For example, these are known as pigments which are extracts of natural coloring matter of animal, plant, flower and mineral. Since the colors are viewed reflecting light from the object, they are called reflective colors. In other words, the color of an image on a piece of paper is what's left over after the paper and ink have absorbed or subtracted certain wavelengths. If green and red are absorbed, we end up seeing blue. If blue and red is absorbed, we see green and so on. It is black if we allow all the colors to absorb. The number of colors that you see on a TV or computer screen is 
believe it or not, as many as 16 million. The TV or computer screen shows color by emitting red, green and blue light, which is added together at different levels and shows an incredibly wide range of colors. These are luminous colors because colors are seen by radiating the screen. Digital flat panel, color neon signs are also the colors that we see are of this category. As with television screen, traditional cathode ray tube CRT monitors have guns that shoot electron beams towards the inside of the screen where they strike a phosphor coating. When a beam hits a red phosphor, it gets excited and emits light, light that looks red. The same thing happens with the green and blue phosphor. As the voltage of the gun changes, so does the intensity of light. The colors which are seen on the silver screen by passing a projecting light through positive transparencies or a film are called transmission colors. Color image seen on white flat panels from LCD monitors is also transmission color, but it works slightly differently. Here colors are projected through filters to either block the light or allow it to pass. There are no electron guns, instead tiny transistor switches, one each for red, green and blue sit in front of each screen spot and control the light through polarization. In short, reflective colors are the component of pigment and dyes compared to luminous and transmission colors which are a component of electron and electrical light respectively. So any form color light is the basic source. Physical dimensions. Color has three other physical dimensions, namely hue, value and chroma. Hue is used to describe a specific color such as red, green or blue. We see a red color because a red hue is there, a blue color because of a blue hue and so on. The quality of the hue can be changed by adding another hue. By mixing one hue with another, we change the basic nature of the hue. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a hue. Value is more when the hue is light and value is less when the hue is dark. The scale of value is determined by the amount of light it reflects. Chroma refers to the purity or intensity of a hue. Like value, it too can be changed by making light and dark. Both ways, it loses its intensity. But chroma can be changed without changing the value by mixing a hue of the same value with the original one. Primary colors. Colors in both light and pigment might be as numerous as the stars. But the basic components of color that, when combined, produce the remaining hues are called primary colors. Red, green and blue are the primary colors of light. They are also called additive colors because adding these three colors together can produce white light. We know that the presence of all colors of light, both sun and artificial, is white and that the absence of all colors is black. A combination of any two colors of the primary colors produces the secondary colors of light. A combination of red and blue produces magenta. Of green and blue gives cyan and of green and red yellow. Therefore magenta, yellow and cyan are known as subtractive colors. These are the primary hue of pigment. They are subtractive because in contrast to additive primaries, they produce dark colors when mixed or superimposed dyes and pigment. The resultant color is the result of the simultaneous or successive subtraction of various colors from light passing through the combination. And they are primaries because any range of colors can be produced by mixing these together in various proportions. In the case of pigment, the presence of all colors is black almost and the absence of all colors is white paper. In full color printing, these primaries are called process colors. Pigment primaries are complements to light primaries, whereas light primaries are complements to pigment primaries. This characteristic of color is used in separation and printing a continuous tone colored illustration. Color copy. There are three types of copy normally used for color printing, reflective, transmission and digitized. Two basic factors, line and continuous tone are common for all the types of color copy. First, reflective copy. Copy that is viewed with the light reflected from the original. 
the color photographic print on bromide paper, the color drawings and the painted image are the examples of reflective copy. Second, transmission copy, copy that is viewed by light passing through it. The positive color film transparency is the example of transmission copy. Third, digitized copy, copy created on computer by digital information and viewed by illumination of its screen is digital copy or luminous copy. All the color images on computer either in RGB, CMYK or grayscale mode are digitized copy. Whatever may be the types of copy, for the purpose of reproduction these are treated in two ways, spot color and process color. Spot color is basically premixed color which can be created and specified by color matching system or hand mixed pigment. Color separation is needed for both the types of color printing. Scanners and scanning. Any image to be printed should be taken into computer for color separation. As the computer only understands digital language, all the reflective copy and transmission copy should be scanned. Flat bed scanner. It is so called because it looks like a bed on the ground. In computer terminology, it is CCD, charged coupled devices scanner. Here thousands of small sensors react to the light or charged and store the data. More the sensors in the scanner, more information can be stored. Most scanners give satisfactory scanned image output for line illustration. The scanned image is formed by pixels, where dots are square in shape and uniform in size. This is called single bit scanned image. For scanning to be continuous tone, illustration, multi bit scanner is used, which breaks down the image into round dots and sometimes lines of varying sizes. It records the original in many levels of grey shades. The laser output of 300 dpi scanned half tone is not of reproducible quality. It can be used for layout purposes and once you are happy with the laser proof of your layout, the same file can be output to either film or bromide paper through a high resolution image setter for the purpose of printing. Multi-bit scanners capture the color information as RGB, red, green and blue. It is compatible with computer's default color which is also RGB and therefore easy to handle the scanned image. These days some scanners are also available with CMYK option but color won't be as reliable as RGB. In case you need a graphic in CMYK specially image to be printed by commercial printer, better work on your file in RGB then convert it to CMYK and then place it on a layout page and go for color separation for printing. Drum scanner. In drum scanning, the image to be printed is mounted on a drum using adhesive tape. During scanning, the drum spins rapidly, exposing each part of the image to the light source, which moves in tiny increments across the original. The reflected or transmitted lights then sent through a photomultiplier tube PMT which breaks the light into RGB components. Other circuitry converts the analog light information to digital. High quality imaging need drum scanning. Since the equipment is costly and requires expert operator, the facility is normally available with large commercial printers and is a bit expensive. Color separation. Color separation involves the extraction of the component hues of a color image in order that each of these hues can be recorded on photographic emulsion. This emulsion is ultimately capable of producing a positive image either by spot or process color printing process. A common method of color copy preparation artwork is the key drawing technique. All the areas of color are drawn by a thin outline on a sheet of paper, putting an overlay on the main part of the drawing with registration marks on it. The marks are needed for all multicolor printing to maintain accuracy with which separated colors are superimposed on each other when reproduced. Registration mark is basically a positional guide for color printing. Spot color. 
color separation for spot color printing is done photographically as well as digitally. More than one negatives are taken from that. Each negative is then cut out and the part that is not to be printed is blocked out. In case of three color separation, three identical negatives are made from the original artwork. On the first negative, everything that is not to be printed is opaqued out by hand. The same way second and third negatives are also prepared as per their respective color. Thus the design has been separated into three components. The non-opaque parts represent an individual color for making plate. It is important to understand that the separated films are not in color. They are black or opaque, identical in appearance. In digital spot color separation, non-printing area are filled by vector images of computer program. Process color. In process color work, continuous tone color copy is produced by three pigment primaries plus black, CMYK. C stands for cyan, M for magenta, Y for yellow and K for black. Though the three primaries are capable of printing any color job, black is added for depth in the dark areas and more details, giving a more realistic effect. Before the advent of computer, a process camera is used for making a negative for each of the process colors or subtractive primaries with the help of a filter of the respective additive primaries. To make a negative for the yellow color of the original, a blue filter is placed in front of the lens of the camera. The purpose is to absorb all the wavelengths of light reflecting only the yellow components of the original. As a result, all the colors of the light that have been absorbed will pass through the lens and be recorded on the photographic emulsion, thus making the area all dark or opaque and leaving only the yellow areas transparent. The filters are analogous to the light primaries, RGB and complementary to the pigment primaries. In a similar way, a green filter will absorb blue and yellow and produce a negative of magenta and a red filter will absorb red and yellow and produce a negative of cyan. To make the negative of black, either all the filters are used or a single amber, yellow-orange filter is used. Since the negative image area is transparent, it will be dense on the plate after exposing. The area carries the ink to the plate. When the four plates are printed one by one on paper with their respective pigment, the result will be range of colors of the original copy. This method of color separation is not in use today. But color separation will be understood better if the above concept is clear to you. These days, most of color separation is done by computer. Modern color scanning equipment is attached to a VDT, video display terminal, and color separation is done in desktop environment. A scanner reads image from paper or bromides electronically and converts them into bitmapped images, rectangular grid of pixels. The operator can see the scanned image on the terminal and make precise color corrections and adjustments to match the artwork and create a wide range of effects. On getting a print command from computer image setter, a computerized film outputting device can produce four color positives simultaneously with much higher speed and superior quality. Each film contains half-tone dots and registration marks. All the films look identical as the dots are too small on opaque on transparent film. Difference between the films can be identified no matter the basis of their screen ruling. Films for yellow color screened 90 degree, cyan 105 degree, magenta 75 degree and black 45 degree. Film images are exposed onto four plates. Each of these plates prints a color of ink in the density required so that when it is combined with an impression from another plate creates tone or shade of the original. Summary Printing color image on the same sheet of paper is color printing. This requires color separation, making of films and printing plates to give impressions on paper as many colors are to be printed. There are many printing processes but only major printing processes require elaborate color separation. Major printing means process can give large quantity print output with consistent image. Offset is one of the fastest growing major printing processes. Whatever may be the process, image to be printed is formed by different combination of colors. Their physical forms are continuous tone, bitmap, line and vector. 
Light is the basic source of color. Normally, there are three ways we view colors, reflection, radiation and projection. These mainly come to our eyes from nature or paint and dyes, TV or computer screen and color film. Any image to be printed, printer needs artwork or copy for printing. There are three types of copy normally used for color printing, reflective, transmission and digitized. Two basic factors, line and continuous tone are common for all the types of color copy. The image to be printed should be taken into computer for color separation. As the computer only understands digital language, all the reflective copy and transmission copy should be scanned. This involves the extraction of the component hues of a color image in order that each of these hues can be recorded on photographic emulsion. This emulsion is ultimately capable of producing a positive image, either by spot or process color printing process. Spot printing is the reproduction of line or vector image by premix color. Process color printing is the reproduction of continuous or bitmap image using process colors CMYK. That is all that we had for you in this episode of ours. Till the next time, it's a goodbye.